everyone this is doxy mom and welcome back to my channel if you haven't done so already i'd greatly appreciate if you hit that little red subscribe button you can ring the bell for notifications and if you like this video just give it a thumbs up well miss cindy and i are here to bring you the news in 15 minutes or less but before we get started i just have to give you an update guys now last night we had a horrible storm come through and well it knocked our internet out and the at&t man he will not be here until Saturday and with no internet I can't do any research to bring you the news so I just want to let you know that you will not be seeing me probably for the rest of the week but we're all okay I said a little prayer before the storm hit and well God answered our prayers because we had a huge tree right outside the house it fell and luckily it fell in the opposite direction because if it had fallen on the house there would have been lots of damage so thank you Jesus but we're all safe and just as soon as the internet is back up and running I'll be back with you however I was able to do a little research yesterday and President Trump, he spoke to reporters on Wednesday and he thanked Mexico again for their 26,000 troops at the border and reminded the Democrats again that they need to fix the loopholes on the border. Then he talked about the gun laws. Now he realizes and worries that those Democrats will want to slip this or that into the bill. Well, our president, he says he will not let that happen, but they are looking at fixing the loopholes and the background checks. And remember, Lindsey Graham, he said that he wants the person buying the gun to be able to sue a person if he is red flagged falsely. So there's that as well. But I am sure that President Trump will make sure that if any changes are made, they are made specifically to keep guns out of the hands of dangerous and mentally ill people. Then President Trump said that Johnson & Johnson, they have come out with a drug that really helps people who are thinking about committing suicide. So he's gotten together with the VA and they are going to give it to the military personnel that have these types of feelings. Now, President Trump, he told the military to order a lot of this. And guys, we just need to please pray that this will keep anyone from trying to commit suicide because we have to remember, you know, no matter what you're going through, however bad things are, things will always get better and they won't always be bad. And we have to remember just how much Jesus loves us. Jesus loves you. So, you know, if you ask him, he will, he'll provide all your needs for you. And plus anyone that is thinking about committing suicide, there is this 1-800 number that's available 24-7, 1-800-273-8255. Five, five, and I'll link it in the description below. So, you know, please, please don't ever take your life. Life is a gift from God. And it tells us this in Isaiah chapter 41, verse 10. So do not fear, for I am with you. Do not be dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you and help you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. So please, guys, please get help if, if you're having those types of feelings. Then President Trump, he goes on to talk about purchasing Greenland. Now, he had just said that this was something, an idea he was thinking about, and apparently it has been discussed many, many times over many years. Harry Truman had the idea and others all the way back to the early 1900s because President Trump said that Denmark is losing $700 million a year with Greenland, so it doesn't do them any good. But Denmark, well, they didn't like the idea. And instead of saying, no, we'll just keep Greenland, they got ugly. And they said, what an absurd idea that is. Well, President Trump, he didn't like that one little bit. And, you know, he said, you can't treat the United States this way. Now, Denmark has been our ally and we support them, but they need to respect the United States of America. 
Now, Serial Brain 2 did a decode on this, and if you just go over to And We Know YouTube channel, you can uh, see this video, because I'm not going to be able to link anything today, guys, but just go over to And We Know, and LT, he, um, he put out this video that says that Greenland, or green, I'm sorry, that green is another code word for weed. So Greenland is code for the international drug trafficking platform that President Trump is shutting down. And this has many in the deep state in panic mode because this is a major source of income for them, guys. Now, in the video, he also links Greenland with that so-called comedian, you know, that horrible Bill Mayer. The interest is the video is very very interesting, so you might want to go over there and watch it. But back to President Trump, and you can find this video on Golden State Times YouTube channel or probably the White House YouTube channel. Anyway, he moved on to Antifa, and he said that in his opinion, Antifa is a terrorist organization, and that they're looking at various things. Well, they should be because Antifa is horrible and in my opinion, all those people need to be locked up. Anyway, then he went on to talk about the squad and how anti-Semitic they have become and the Democrats, they have just gone so far away from Israel. He just can't understand it. He says they want to take away foreign aid to Israel. They want to do a lot of bad things to Israel. And the president said, if you vote for a Democrat, you're being very disloyal to the Jewish people and you're being very disloyal to Israel. Hmm, shouldn't be doing that, guys. Those are God's chosen people. We have to protect Israel. Anyway, the president moves on and talks about China and how China has stolen $500 billion from the United States because of bad trade deals from Obama and past presidents and how they've stolen our intellectual property. And don't forget, guys, all of Hillary's emails were just going straight on over to China. And in my opinion, she just let that happen and was probably getting paid for it too, allegedly. Anyway... Trump, he is taking on China on their trade because the U.S., these were his words, he said the U.S. is the piggy bank that all these countries, including the European Union, wants to rob. So, thank you, Jesus, that President Trump is our president because he is stopping all of this. And he will make a deal with China, but it's going to be a fair trade deal. And they're ready to make one because they've had an awful, awful year. The worst year they've had in half a century. So, now, guys, President Trump, wow, he bashed this NBC reporter. He told the reporter he was so biased. And that's why the American people have no confidence in the media. Well, you tell them, President Trump. Then he talked about the New York Times and says the Times has no credibility. They are totally dishonest. First, it was Russia, Russia, Russia. Then when that fell through, it was racism. And you know our president is not a racist. And then he said that, that uh, CNN, they have more credibility than NBC News. But that's not saying much. Don't you just love our president? Now, here's your daily reminder to pray for President Trump, to pray for his family, and to pray for everyone fighting for our freedoms. And I hope you guys know that I pray every single day for my wonderful subscribers and how much I love you guys. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Like I said, I won't be back probably until next week, but as soon as I get some internet, I'll be back with you. So this is Doxy Mom, and until next time, God bless you all.